Hi Vibes everyone. So uh, we are in a very very <laughs> amazing time. So at the same time uh, uh, there is a lot of uh, circus out there. So much that uh, at times I have really to take a step back and not uh, uh, make any vlogs <laughs> because simply um, it makes no sense to share with anyone uh, uh, what uh, I see in the global scene. So we don't know if it's uh, true or not. We don't know anything. Uh, the reason I'm doing this uh, vlog right now is to again uh, place our focus on what is coming and um, place our focus on, on, on creating new earth and uh, it's gonna be uh, a little bit my personal perspective and yet of course you can also uh, use your own uh, creative skills to, to expand this idea for you and how you see it and so for me uh, again I, I repeat uh, this is not gonna last forever this uh, uh, third dimensional uh, um, destruction of, of the old uh, this this is going to go at some point and then we're going to move to the next stage of transition who is the creation of the new which is the rebuilding which is the restoring and uh, if you have antennas open and if you can really see a little bit on the wall what's taking place there are a few places on the planet uh, like uh, um, uh, Arabi Saudi and uh, where they are creating uh, Neom. It's a future city that can host up to 10 million. It's a 1 trillion project. Uh, so everything there is going to be constructed with uh, the best high-tech quantum technical technologies and eco-sustainable. It means that uh, there is respect for mother nature and there's going to be big trees and uh, abundance of organic foods and uh, flying cars and all that and we have President Trump that Trump that just announced a few days ago uh, uh, talked about the quantum leap happening and uh, they, they, they are he is planning about uh, to create uh, 10 cities in, uh, in the United States of America. Um, there are many many things happening uh, there is uh, uh, I have another um, uh, I know another, another project that I'm also involved in. Uh, called Colossal, and it's in Texas. It's going to be happening with Elon Musk. I know Elon Musk also is busy creating a, a smart city uh, somewhere in South Africa. So there is like, um, there are things happening with the planet that uh, are shifting. We don't see it. Nobody speaks really about it. But if you start to f place your focus there, you can see more and more that there is like a, a change towards a planet that uh, has free energy and uh, uh, respects the environment and um, basically what you see is like you see the uh, the downgrade of all the um, um, use of cars of or using uh, oil and petrol and gas and going, going to uh, another way of uh, using energy it's going to be lithium batteries electric cars uh, like tesla cars for a period of time and then it's going to move again to, to hydrogen cars and then it's going to go to probably Tesla cars where the energy uh, is transmitted through the air just like Nikola Tesla has uh, created his inventions at some time ago uh, it, this is going gonna, gonna to take place uh, very soon and in my understanding uh, what's going to happen is that uh, the 5G antennas that they were supposed to create like uh, mayhem around the planet and uh, create sicknesses basically they will be used for transmission of these energies so I don't know how this plays out exactly. I hear things, I receive things, I receive information, and then I'm sharing it here with you. Yet we can see there is like there is a plan behind the scenes, and this plan is slowly being activated, uh, much slower than we would like to. Um, there are finances, there are financial means for that for those who are want to be involved in these projects. I'm gonna be involved myself. I'm already on it. I have already five main areas of projects that I'm busy with and I'm working with my teams already to to move this forward. That's also the reason why I'm not so often online uh, because uh, we operate also from from um, backstage and doing things and bringing the, the teams together on a local level. So here is in Greece and uh, there are other things around Europe that we are doing. So uh, just the white hats are operating uh, behind the, the scenes. We're also, we are also operating behind the scenes. 
and um, I can speak about these things when it's more concrete, when it's like uh, um, there is more like, uh, uh, so to say, um, real buildings and real constructions that are happening that I can start sharing more things about it. Um, for now, uh, what I want to say is that uh, we know that uh, all the med beds and uh, healing chambers and uh, celestial chambers that um, uh, are going to be helping uh, the elders and all those who are having problems with the health to heal, it's coming. It's very soon. It's not going to take so much longer. So this is just a reminder for you to keep on keeping on and uh, whatever you are in your stage, um, how, how doesn't matter your age, if you want to live long, you can live long, you just have to say it and you can live long and if you have to go and it's your path soul and you choose to live, then you go, you leave, you leave your body, of course, nobody's uh, forcing anybody, anyone, anything. Uh, I have often this conversation with my, with my father, with my parents and uh, my father likes to say that... Uh, uh, I'm going to go soon and I say, well, it's up to you. But if you want to live longer, you also have the chance to live longer because you're going to be having med beds. And uh, I speak this with my mother. My mother really receives it and she, she believes it. And uh, my father is like uh, more or less like shifting uh, left and right. My father is over 80 years. It's 82. So, so I believe this is all happening and we can see uh, it's all up to each and everyone what to believe, what to choose to believe. Um, it's, uh, it, it has taken longer than we were expecting. Uh, I'm on this journey already since 2016 and, um, and uh, um, I didn't think that this could take so long. Um, I hear there are other people who are on this journey for much longer than me, others from 2010, others for 30 years. So, so there has been like a filtration in, uh, in these ideas uh, on Nazara Jazara and uh, for, for things to come for the benefit of all humanity. And uh, while the clearing out, clearing out took longer than uh, we thought at the same time, um, I can only say that I'm grateful. <laughs> Because uh, basically, <laughs> I'm learning things here like uh, precipitation and manifesting through thin air. It's like more and more tangible in my reality. I can feel it. And uh, well, <laughs> if it doesn't go one way, we are powerful beings. And I really believe in the power of our, of our uh, DNA of being reactivated. One way or another, we're ascending. And... Um, and uh, this strain leads to glory. There is no other way. It's like we, the ones who are the believers, who have been uh, um, um, putting the flag up high and really celebrating already, because we you know it's already, it's part of our reality already. We live it with every little part of our bodies, with every little cell, with every little, little atom and proton and electron in our bodies. We live it. We live this reality already. <clears throat> I know personally this is coming forward. I can see the signs everywhere. I'm just doing my best here to share with you what I know it's coming. And uh, there's going to be huge, huge change happening on the planet. There's going to be a quantum leap that um, most will not be able to catch up at first. It will be just such an intense changeover uh, of the scene when this happens. And it's already happening. We can see it. It's like very tangible, everything. So uh, we're very close to all this taking place. And um, when I say close, it's day by day, week by week and month by month. And uh, there is like a, a moment that is going to be really very intense change. And this has to do with uh, the amount of light coming to the planet, the receptivity of the collective and uh, of the collective, I mean, the big, the the larger collective of humanity, how open uh, uh, we are as a collective to receive the energies. So we don't want the energies to, to come down and burn anyone. We want to do as much as possible, as many on the people uh, live long lives. And uh, this is the plan. And uh, well, each and everyone doing the work within uh, actually is helping everyone uh, else around us. Each and everyone doing the work, staying in high vibration, also helping each and everyone around us. That's the work. Um, only just through our presence, we're already doing the work. This is the service of the Most High. 
uh, even if it's not recognized by those around us, if nobody sees, uh, I know <laughs> this is the way, this is the work, and uh, and um, abundance and love and light, this is who we really are. We are the essence of everything we desire. And so I apply this you know, into my own life. Um, I uh, I create my reality and uh, everyone also creates their own reality. So I'm inviting you through this um, uh, sharings I'm doing here now to focus on creating a reality. Uh, just forget uh, the circus, all, of, all the circus out there because a lot of it is not true. Most of it, uh, what is being shared is not true. Uh, some of it will start to surface more and more now um, because people need to really um, wake up to what has been happening since the 9-11 time and who made it and who did this and at the same time we need to embrace forgiveness within and forgiveness is a big word for many uh, because of course uh, they don't want to uh, to uh, uh, work through forgiveness and um, always put, uh, always um, saying it's their fault and this and that and they have to pay and yes, there are people who have stopped the process, who have delayed the process. Uh, at the same time, we don't need to carry this weight in our hearts because it's stopping, it's blocking our evolution and it's blocking our ascension. Uh, because where you go in these new energies in the fifth dimension and beyond, there is no possible to to go through the through the very narrow space, uh, if you're not able to forgive, this is like carrying uh, with us pains and uh, and cosmic forgiveness is the word, uh, cosmic forgiveness for anything that, that took place. Uh, contrast has created uh, where we are today and where we go. So I embrace the contrast. Uh, I am thankful for the contrast, whatever happened in our lives, however this looks, however this seems, and however we, uh, uh, whatever we had to face in our lives and um, I'm inviting you to do the same and um, and um, forgiveness is not for the others it's for ourselves. okay so it's about the self it's about self-love and it's about really releasing all the old and um, I'm also calling Saint Germain the valid flame of Saint Germain so use it abundantly we all have also our own dragons. They're also helping with the violet flame. So use your own dragon, use Saint Germain, use the violet fire to release all that is no longer, long, longer needed to clear the past from anything. We are moving fast in these new energies and these new energies ask now to focus more than ever on creating the new. So I'm inviting you really to sit down and take a notebook and start writing down the things you want in your life doesn't matter if it's personal or if it's like collective because if it's something in your heart and you love to do the, you're also serving the collective so whatever it is is it like you have a new home is it like having a, a new car uh, is it like uh, having a, um, going traveling somewhere being with many friends is it like uh, helping others uh, being of service to others it, it all goes together it's it's and it's like it's like um, source is not um, source wants us to realize all our desires both personal and, uh, and and collective from the moment is for our highest good and from the moment we are we are respecting the own and only law of doing no harm to any other this is the law so anyone who is doing harm who is intending to do harm to any other cannot move forward and uh, the quantum financial system and the quantum uh, world we are moving forward and the galactic planet the galactic civilization we are now becoming as one humanity as galactic citizens we are becoming galactic citizens basically as as our dna is 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 uh, being activated more and more I believe we are still in 10%, but I'm moving forward in 20%. And uh, at some point, we'll be able to fly and do all kinds of things. Call me crazy. I don't care. I believe that we can fly like Superman. I believe that we can do all kind of incredible things like, like teleportation, teleport ourselves. This is our ability when we are activating more and more of our DNA. I believe it. And uh, you cannot stop me from believing what I want to believe. I believe we can live a uh, thousand years on this planet and more like our sisters and brothers in hollow earth. 
I'm here to share my truth and you do whatever you like with the truth I'm sharing here with you. <laughs> so, so this is where I'm standing on my journey, in my belief system, and this is how I choose to live my life. And you are free to choose your how to live your life and what is your belief system. Uh, I'm here to stay long in this ascending body because I have I am intending to do a lot of work here to rebuild in many possible ways and um, uh, and uh, and so. And so, coming back to the original um, um, things I want to speak about is about the quantum leap we are moving forward now. So, again, my invitation is focus on the things you want to create, focus on the things you want to see change in your house, in your neighborhood, in your city, in your community, in your, in your towns, villages, wherever you are on the planet. Focus on these things. See these things. Speak about these things. Speak about the things you want and forget all the things you don't want to see. Uh, forget speaking about uh, about uh, all what happened in the past. Uh, it, it doesn't serve anymore in my, through my perspective. It only helps to speak about the things you want. Uh, we can speak hours and hours what happened in the history of humanity and 20 years ago and all this. <sighs> I just leave it all behind, you know. I don't care anymore about speaking all this. I don't even speak anymore about who did this and who did what. Those who are doing the work for 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 justice for for the planet, they're doing the work, and I'm very uh, grateful for them. My work is to create the new, and I focus on the new. And uh, and uh, I have been doing this already since since 2009. That uh, my son was born 2009. So, so, um, so yes, I have a son, and uh, my son lives in Amsterdam with his mama. And uh, well, um, life is like that. Uh, for now, I don't get to see him, but I hope very soon I will be able to see him. This is something that uh, I'm sharing with you. Lights more a private thing I'm sharing with you. Uh, life brought things in such a way that. Uh, I did not have a home of my for myself to live there. I was living a nomad life, so I could not be with my son, uh, offer him the space that he needed, and he grew up with his mama. So we are in good relation. That's what matters for now, and we are. And I do hope that in in the very near future, I will be able to see him more often, and he will be able to also help me with my ideas and projects. So, personal things we all go through our own challenges in life, and. Um, I'm sharing this with you to show you that uh, none of us is uh, everybody's vulnerable and things happening at the same time. It's our own choice to choose to not be vulnerable. Uh, I speak about vulnerability, but at the same time, I choose to not be vulnerable. I choose to really ride on the wave to know that I'm different than anybody else and to do my best every every moment of my life to uh, create a new and to stay in high vibration. And, uh, and so... Uh, this is what I have to share. Uh, really uh, authentic, open, uh, hard talk. And um, if everything resonates with you, take what you what you feel resonates with you, and uh, forget everything else. And uh, and uh, the message again is: there is a quantum leap happening, and get on it, and work on it, and consciously create right now. Play with it. Have fun with it and make it your focus in this now because the energies are very strong. And the more you ride these energies with this, being creative, being productive uh, in this way with our minds and with our hearts and with our emotions, that's where it goes. It's fifth dimensional crea creation, quantum uh, reality, and uh, all possibilities. There is infinite possibilities. And each one amongst you, you are the creator of your reality. So create your reality. Much love.